Hey guys, welcome back. The uh, Jets Guineas have acclimated and so they've escaped the prison. Uh, had a couple of tricky nights those first couple nights getting them to go back into the hen house there, but they are trained and located and none of them have disappeared yet. Hey guys, welcome back. So we've had four days of rain. I uh, got a little over six inches, probably getting close to seven, and there's the river, and there's the river break. Gonna need a little bit of attention before the before we put cows out here. So today what I wanted to talk about was rye. This is the field where we had clover in the bottom. Showed you during the dry time there back in May, making the clover. Uh, what we did here was we grazed the field after we'd hayed it and then I dissed it two times lightly. Uh, then I spread manure. Uh, there was enough moisture you can see right where the super single tires ran on the manure spreader. I got a perfect stand to rye there. But I broad broadcasted the rye before I spread manure. I wanted the tires to do that to pack it in good. Uh, broadcasted the rye with the broadcaster. Broadcasted the rye with the broadcaster, and we will run cows here this winter. Uh, but I want to talk about accumulating the nitrogen you need to raise corn. This will be uh, four years of row crop now, and so the nitrogen sources on this field were the uh, clover fixing nitrogen. Uh, there will be a credit for nitrogen from the manure application, and there will be a credit from this winter running cows. On this ground. I will run cows and let them graze the rye in winter down here in the valley. So that's what we got a beautiful cover crop of rye coming. Thanks, guys.